Tonight on Mac to the Future Go livecast 120. Apple TV Plus premieres the morning show with a black carpet they hope will also equal profits. Speaking of which, how much did Apple make last quarter? And how do you generate gender neutral emojis? I, I guess we'll find out in the latest Mac OS update. All that tonight. And oh, so, so very much more on the Mac to the Future livecast. Go. And here we are again on the Mac to the Future Livecast Go. I am one of your humble hosts, Guy Searles. Sorry about the late start. We were having some, some audio technical issues, but it's all taken care of now because, as you know, we are, we are consummate professionals, and we just take care of these things before they go horribly, horribly wrong. Sure we do. Anyway, as usual, I am joined by Mr. Warren Sklar. Hello, Mr. Warren Sklar. And Mr. Dave Hello, Ginsburg. Hello. Hello, Mr. Dave Ginsburg. How's it going? Hey. I'm doing just Hello. fine. So how are you yeah. doing tonight there, Warren? Yay, it's uh, Wednesday. Mass Singer yeah. Day. Let's get this over with. No, oh, I'm good. How are okay. you? Well, you know what? Your enthusiasm. Wait. that That's what hey. like, <laughs> wait, really wait, wait, just wait, wait, makes wait. this show right here. There, there, There is no Mass Singer tonight. The World Series is going on. <laughs> oh, you might be right. That's right. Uh, so yeah, they canceled it last week too. All right, we got all night. Let's go. How's it going? Let's keep going. How's it going, everybody? Great to be here. <laughs> my bad, my bad, Mike. We're happy to happy to let's do some great discussion here, huh? Okay. So, or yeah. you know what we normally do. Um, <laughs> let's go right over there. Yeah, we could, you know, Washington Nationals. You know, all right. Let well, let's let's talk about the World Series for just a second, okay? Yeah. No, I was kidding. So, I really don't want to talk about the World Series. It starts up. I know it's too late. You you've, you see, you, you can't set me on a course and not expect <laughs> it to continue. But if you've listened to the My Mac podcast, see, this is why Gaz tries to not do this because then I get side tr and he's gone. I don't know what happened to him. Anyway. Washington Nationals, Houston Astros, can't believe that Houston, which theoretically is the better team, let the first two games get away from them. And you know what I think happened was that that, that first game, I, I think they went into that first game overconfident. And Washington beat them. <laughs> Seriously. And then the second game, the second game, I think they were shell-shocked, and Washington beat them again. And then they come to Washington and beat the Nationals three games in their home stadium in a row. Yeah, well. And then last night, thinking that, oh, well, you know, there's no way Houston is going to let that get away. They, they do. They let that one game get away. And so now here we are at the last game of the World Series in yes, Houston. we are. Are we done? That's awesome. Yeah. I think that's about it. That was my whole. That was my and whole. And, he, and he's for, wearing his. And he's wearing his Baltimore Ravens uh, jersey too. I am. Yeah. Thank you. For, this was Guy's World Series recap by Guy. Well, I mean, my Dolphins suck this year, and and they suck no, bad. So my, I mean, listen, the, the three Giants, of us have bad teams. We all Giants do. Giants and yeah. Bears are not. Yeah, we're yeah. we're all in the same boat. So don't don't give us your sad story because we all have the same sad story. Yes, you've lost like maybe two more. You've lost two more games than we have. Yeah, it's bad. I'm sorry. It's, it is yeah. bad. And you the get, worst part is the Patriots are on a roll to, to go for a perfect season. That's the worst. Oh, yeah, Somebody no, has to beat the Patriots. Somebody, please. No. Eli's All right. This year, so. Go ahead. Yeah, you, you guys are, are you guys both on um, Watch Fives? I No, yes. I have Watch Four. And you're oh, on a watch five. five. See, I'm yes. on a two. And finally, I'm sorry to hear that. I no, no, it's fine. It's fine. 
Finally, Watch OS 6 has become available for uh, the first and uh, actually, yeah, first and second gen. Gen Zero, of course, has been out of it for a while. And um, I c- can't really see any difference for this watch. I'm, I'm guessing that's mostly because it, it's probably hardware restrictive to any of the, the cool new things that it can do. I don't think it should be. The only thing that your watch no. can't do that Dave's and I, so mine and Dave's, we could do the uh, EC, 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 G, EC, EC. Yeah, the e, uh, uh, EC, e- yeah, the electrocardiogram. Yeah, easy. So we could do that. You got. You can't do that. We could put our finger okay. on no, the No, that's fine. People have been saying I don't have a heart for years. So it works right. out. And then um, uh, what else can we do? Um, my my watch has uh, the always-on time, which obviously none of you have, and the GPS. Yeah. But other than that, I you, you know the only other feature really is um, the noise level. Do you have that? Is that on there? Um. Yeah, people have said I'm very noisy. Not you, the watch. There's a watch have a noise there's a, uh, level. Thing. There's a noise app that measures decibels and warns you if it's if it's too loud. Yes. Oh, uh, I have no idea if the second gen has that. So, so in other words, you're saying that you don't think you have you, you don't you don't notice any security difference. Updates. But you, haven't, okay. you, you you don't notice a difference, but you haven't really looked at it at all. So that's right. Can't what tell the difference exactly. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't know. I don't notice any difference with the, uh, you know, the, the the neighbor down the street, but I haven't really looked at him, so I, that's. You know, well, I would hope not. That that would just be yeah, weird. Well, that would be weird. Especially if you just like walk right up to him and, and just kind of, it's like, huh, neighbor, he would have a problem with that. Okay, one of us yeah, well, that? has AirPod Pros, and they've hit the stores. They have three new tips. And a two hundred and fifty dollar price tag, and I'm trying to remember which one of the three of us is it that has the new AirPod Pros. Hmm. I think it's Dave. Yeah, I think it's like Dave. So how do you like? How do you? And- <laughs> nice. How do you like them? Well, I've only had them for what now thirty five minutes huh. since I put plugged them in, so it's. Hard to judge, but uh, so far I am uh, pretty impressed. Um, one of the things that's really cool is the fact that you can go into the AirPods and you've got different uh, noise controls. So you can have uh, noise cancellation, which I have on right now, and it's really it really isolates the sound. Um, and then you have transparency, so it allows you to be able to hear on the background. Um, right. Very, it gives very you more easy. ambiance. More ambiance. 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 Yes. Um, and and hello, Cletus. And hear, hello, Leslie. Thank you for joining let's us. Let's hear this the, evening. Let's you hear the train before it hits you. That's, that's right. there's, yeah. There's but then the, it, still, uh, it still hits you though. There's the packet, so yes. it gives you the other uh, uh, tips. ear mm-hmm. tips. Which so which can, one? Which one are you using? Well, I, I'm using right now the one that's um, uh, that was on it. The, the I, default. Pressed, right, and then the mm-hmm. other thing too is it does have a way of being able to measure the sound with the tip and in the app on the on the iPhone so you actually can uh, measure to see if it'll measure and tell you is is it's a good seal and give you a good sound oh nice um, through the app so I'm pretty impressed with that too but uh, like I said it's still still pretty new for me I just got uh, you know 35 minutes ago <laughs> I just turned, opened it up there's the case it's a little different size compared to the old one I mean this one's you know if you put the two together yeah, you know, a little different. Oh, how could it's so much smaller? Yeah, this one's you know. Well, it's wider. The case is a little this, wider. This is I wireless think. charging, which I didn't have before, which is cool. Um, and no. um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. I, I'm, I'm going. I'm leaving for Vegas tomorrow, weather permitting. Vegas, uh, baby. And, and um, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how these sound on the plane with noise cancellation. I usually bring my Bose, you know, QC35 um, headsets, headphones. I'll bring them anyway, but. I like to hey, see. Why not? Uh, I like to see what they uh, what this sounds like. All right, cool. Uh, in other another quick take, the Mac Pro has passed the FCC test, which probably means that we should see it before the end of the year. I'm hoping sooner rather than later. 
Well, Not that, one? I mean, <laughs> shit, I'm sorry. I mean, Beep. gosh, gosh. Um, no, no, but I, I like no. I liked the idea that it's available as compared to it not being available. I know, it's it's a sickness. It's a disease. Go, um, go team. Go, go team, team Apple. Team Apple. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> give me an A, give me a P, give me a P, give me an L, give me an E. Apple, Apple, Apple. Um, yeah, so show? we've been waiting, <laughs> I think, a, a really long time Very long. for for a new Mac Pro. And the, the, the fact that it has taken over six years to come out with a, not really so much an update, but a, a new design over the failed 2013 model uh, is, it's, it's, ridiculous that it's taken this long i I don't understand what what the issue was and and, uh, well i guess but you know i mean it's it's off the shelf components it's it's not like they were designing um the processor like they do with phones and ipads uh i think that what this really speaks to is that apple's focus uh, is not on the mac and maybe it should be. Maybe maybe we're coming around to a, a new renaissance, renaissance for the I Mac mean, line. You also got to remember, this is a pro product. And Apple has a niche group of, fo- of folks that want this pro line machine. Um, and why... They're, they're, why, why would they want to spend all this time, you know, publicizing it and just just release it? I mean, look what they did with these AirPods, the AirPods Pro. They just they just did a quiet announcement. Hey, we, oh yeah, by the way, these are coming out on on, on uh, yeah. But on I mean, that's a that's a two hundred and fifty dollar item versus a, a if you get the monitor, a ten thousand dollar item. Yeah, no, but the Pro was already announced. The, the, they could well, put it out true. tomorrow. It's already. It's already been announced at the iPhone event. They talked about it. It's it could go. Whereas something like oh Siri, shut the hell up. Uh, I didn't uh, say Siri. Um whereas uh the the um if they came out with a new laptop, a sixteen inch laptop, that that's not ready to be announced without some kind of announcement. Right. Unless it's so minimal of a uh change. I'm I'm anticipating that but this the, Mac Pro just comes out quietly. It all week. of a sudden just I mean, this week and next, just, just, like, yeah. just like the 16-inch MacBook Pro, they, they they still are teasing, and we don't know when that's going to come well, out. So, I mean, has Apple said that? I mean, Apple's never said there's going to be a 16-inch Mac Pro. I mean, that, or MacBook not. Pro. They that that's all been yep. what's his it's name? All been rumors. It's rumors. Rumors. Okay. Yeah, it's for. So that's but there's definitely a Mac Pro, and if it comes out tomorrow or Friday. I would not be shocked if it just popped out because they yeah. talked about it and they already, you know, put a little slight, they did a, their video of it and a nice cheese grater, or, uh, you know, angles and all that. It's a stuff. beautiful machine. So, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Right well, speaking of Friday, yep. that the Apple, Apple TV. TV plus is going to debut on Friday and it is all original and nothing else. This is a story from Reuters.com, Apple's upcoming TV streaming service, Apple TV Plus, is all original content, and that's about it, which explains the low price considering what most of the other services are about. Disney's service is bringing a, uh, a huge back catalog of Star Wars and Marvel content along with their new stuff. Uh, Netflix started out with back catalogs and moved to creating new content, and Hulu is gearing up for new content as well. Um, Amazon Prime is kind of, but not really free. So can Apple compete at four ninety nine with just new content? What do you think, Warren? Um, I mean, they asked Tim Cook this today at the. Uh, I listened to the, the thing, um, and he basically said it's a it's a it's a building year. It's not. This year's not meant to compete yet. This year's meant to get people to get onto the service, to, to find shows they like. That's why they're giving out free year if you buy something. That's why it's so cheap. Um, you know, the reviews of the shows are mediocre right now, but they might get better. 
Um, so, uh, you know, I, they're, this year they're not going to come anywhere close to Netflix or Amazon or, or anything like that in sales because uh, not a lot of people will spend the money. But, um, you know, the, the goal is, you know, next year to year after they could compete. Okay, what do you think, Dave? Yeah, I agree. It's uh, it's definitely going to be a first-year trial. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the shows. You know, the people see you know, Jennifer Aston, Reese, Reese Wizard, Witherspoon. They're, they're it's not a comedy. It's not a comedy. It's not a comedy. It's a place where um, you think. And, and, and they're, they're intrigued and, and, and all the other content. But uh, this will be a, definitely a, a learning year for, for Apple when it comes to this 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 new world that they're getting into. This is, is, this is all new. I mean, this is not something that... Uh, They've been in before, and I think uh, I, I think it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be interesting to see where it goes. And uh, I saw a review for uh, for all mankind that was that said it's it that it's a, a pretty darn good show. That if you if you don't try to compare it with the absolute best that you see from some of the other services that it's it's fun and it's entertaining so i don't you know other than you know like something like oh i don't know the mass singer uh I, that's really all i look for in uh in television content i just want it to be entertaining you know i i'm not sure. really that concerned <clears throat> with with uh social commentary and all the rest of it it's like look I, i've worked all day just give me something that I can watch that I can kind of lose myself in. And, and that's, that's pretty much all I want. I think for all mankind is going to be heavier than that. It's supposed right. to be really good, but it's basically if the space race never ended or the Russians right. got there first or something like that. So it's, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not going to be a light, you know, like, you know, you, you got to pay attention and you got to watch it. So I think it's going to be good. Well, it's a drama, um, but total, total it's a drama. drama. Yeah. Yeah, and it sounds great. Um, yeah. Whereas, like the C thing, I was excited for the C thing at first. Now I lost interest already. It just kind of, I, well, I don't think it's going to be good. I guess we'll see. We'll find out. We'll see. Uh, 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 um, uh, so Dave and I, so Dave and I are getting it for free for a year. Are you spending the four ninety nine guy? Uh, well, I mean, I just picked up this this new Apple TV 4K, so in theory, oh, I should be it. able to get it get it free yeah. for a year yeah, you also. Will. Yeah. Yep. You yeah. will. But yeah. I just have to let them know that I bought it. I bought the Apple TV. Yeah. I I asked Apple about that because when I bought my phone, they didn't say anything, and um, they said basically they know they know that we bought something somehow. And, well, it's, uh, it's like your it's like your app ID. Yeah. It's, it's like the Apple or ID, Santa Claus. But, they see you when you're sleeping. Yeah. They know. Well, it says you have awake. to buy something, but yeah, well, I did. Yeah, I well, yeah, but like if, I said, uh, it's a, a new device somebody, is linked to your ID. What so, if uh, okay. somebody? Uh, what if somebody gave me an Apple TV? Well, then you wouldn't get it. it too much. They know it's new Why? because uh, because of the the serial number probably and the and the no, manufacturer dates. Like for for us, it's <laughs> easy. It's I you know I have off an 11, uh, 11 pros. I mean it's. That's easy. Or, you know, ear pods. Oh. Ear pods. Yeah, maybe ear pods. They don't count. Don't <laughs> Big Brother count. knows what you bought. Um, next Apple story. Uh, Apple released their 2019 uh, first quarter results today. After, uh, after hours, after the stock market's closed. And uh, in after hours trading, they're up about three and a half dollars to close to close to two fifty a share. Uh, their quarter is, shouldn't this be quarter one results for twenty nineteen? Oh. oh no, we're in we're in quarter one of twenty twenty. All right, my mistake, my mistake. Uh, revenue was estimated to be billion. 64 b -b 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 billion which is up billion. just a little bit yeah billion just up just a little bit from from the previous year um not too shabby services are up about half a billion i guess go you know, four to four to five hundred million dollars which is nothing to uh to sneeze at i think that right. uh, oh well actually and their guidance for next year is way up to uh but 
85 billion for the the fourth quarter of uh, of 2020. The one thing, the one down part of the entire report, I believe, is that product sales have declined year over year, uh, but not that much from 52.3 to 51.5. So it's dropped a little more than a billion dollars. But services, on the other hand, increased from 10.6 to 12.5 billion, which again, I don't think was unexpected. Um, iPhone revenue is down. Mac revenue is down. iPad revenue, oddly enough, is up. Surprise. Uh, wearables, home, and accessories saw the biggest jump going up uh, over $2 billion from 4.2 to $6.5 billion. So, Thanks you to know, uh, Dave and I. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. I heard somebody talking about this. It may have, been, may have been Tim Robertson talking about things like. There isn't really a smartwatch market. There's the Apple Watch market, and then there's everyone else. There's there's not really a tablet market. There's the iPad, and then there's everything else. Apple is soaking up all of the profit from both of these emerging sectors for hardware. Pretty much. I mean, Fitbit yeah. will argue with you. Um, you know, Fitbit will say they're you know a wearable with a watch. Um, well, that's fun. No, that's not so, what I'm I mean, saying though. You know, I mean, just, just because, just because you put out a product and, and you've sold some, uh, doesn't necessarily make you the industry leader in that segment. And so far in watch and tablet sales, Apple's devices are, are pretty much number one. They're yeah. definitely one, but there's, I mean, tablets I agree with, but there are a few other, smart watches out there but they're not the same in the same category yeah have you seen the um actually the samsung watch the the new one the round one that's a hell of a good looking device they all look great say that because i'm they don't work they don't work they don't they don't do anything they don't do anything it works well okay i see i haven't played with one but just from looking at it it sure looks nice i wish apple would go with the round design yeah me too actually Right. Okay. Uh, square or nothing. <laughs> yeah. All right. The last story that we have for the evening: uh, Mac OS was updated to ten point fifteen point one with the usual bug and security updates. Support for the new AirPod Pros, Siri privacy updates, and new gender neutral emojis. Now, I'm not on Catalina. Are either one of you on Catalina? Of course. Yes. Have you looked at the gender neutral emojis? No, I haven't looked at any emojis since I installed like my first Mac or iPhone. I I, I am not an emoji connoisseur. This was like one of the things they touted for this update was gender neutral emojis. Now, I realize that... Leslie I'm kind group, of a uh, fuddy duddy. <laughs> well, I was just gonna say I realize that, that I'm somewhat older than than I guess a lot of the people that are either watching this or care. But why would gender neutral emojis even be a thing? Why is that important? Because I mean, to the millennials. Oh, well, I guess because Apple's all about Apple's all about equality, and this is showing the equality. Le- mm-hmm. Leslie posted they they have blind people emojis, like a blind person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that took me just a minute to to process. It was like all right, okay, sure. all right, all right, blind. So, so, but and and I'm sure that that you know they should have like Braille on your watch you know the the braille dots come up on the watch so that you can read braille on your watch um i have <laughs> no idea why you would have a blind person much yeah but yeah there you go we have to cater to the wussies the woosies yes woosies the woodies, woosies. The woodies. woodies. <laughs> cater to the woody the woodies um, um, yeah, that's emojis are out of control, but they, yeah. the, the kids like they them. So. Okay. I said kids, the millennials, kids. 
Yeah. Get off Dirty my lawn. lawn. Get off, get off my lawn, you stinking kids. I would have got away with it, too. <laughs> <laughs> ah, old man Smithers. Um, yes. That's... That's about mm-hmm. that's about all I have. I would like to mention very very quickly that uh, the My time. Mac podcast is coming up on its five hundred five hundredth episode since Gaz and I took it over, and that will be show seven eighty five. We obviously didn't start the My Mac podcast that. Um, Tim we Robertson and <laughs> Chad so Chad Mac. Perry started the Do- Mac, My Mac podcast Do-be-do-be-do. back in 2004, Do-be-do-be-do. and we took it over around 2009, October, I think it was, of 2009. History. So, but we're coming up on it, and what we're asking you to do, what we're asking everyone to do, is to ah! create a bumper for the MyMac.com podcast. You can be as insulting as you want. It should be between 7 to 12 seconds. Uh, it doesn't. You don't necessarily have to record it yourself. You can just send it in as text, and we'll record it for ourselves. And it's not like we're asking you to do this for nothing because we have four, four $25 Apple gift certificates that we are giving away, and the way it's going to break down, Gas is going to yeah. pick a winner. I'm going to pick a winner, and there'll be two random draws. So even even if Gaz and I don't pick your bumper as the winning bumper, you still have a great chance to win. So if you'd like to enter that's that like, contest, go ahead. That's like five, yeah, that's like five months of Apple TV right there. If you want, yeah, there you go. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. So all you have to do is send that to guy at mymac dot com, and uh, and. You know, you can send it in pretty much any of the ways that that we talk about in in contacting the show. And we would really, really appreciate it if you would participate in the contest. Uh, Of course, if you do other things, if you send us a Skype message, 703-436-9501, you'll get something back that's called a woo T. That's a big W, big O, big O, big T, little I, little E. That spells Woody. It's amazing. It's wonderful. And you'll wonder why you were managed to live your life before you got one. I got one. Isn't it great? I have fun. I, I don't know where I put it. Okay, look at the yeah. enthusiasm that you <clears throat> get from Warren and Dave over there, Woody. Anyway, that's going to do it for tonight's show. Thank you all so very, very much. Uh, Dave... If people wanted to get a hold of you, how would they do it? They would do it by going to intouchwithios.com. That's my podcast website and my podcast. And uh, if anybody doesn't know, so I have a cold, so I'm horsing here. And uh, president of the Apple user group here in Chicago, suburban Chicago Apple users. That's at uh, myscau.org. And I'm on Twitter at DaveG65. And uh, Warren... Um, don't touch me there. Um, I am on Facebook. Come join, come join the Mac to the Future Facebook group. Um, uh, w Sklar is, I think, Twitter and Instagram and everything. Uh, yeah, like if that. you're watching this, uh, if you're watching this on uh, my feed, because uh, no, that's not the one I wanted to hit. That's the one I wanted to hit. If you're watching this on my feed. Uh, we do have, I mean, there is a Mac to the Future Facebook group, and if you're a Mac user, if you just want to join in with a great bunch of guys and gals, hey, uh, we're not gender neutral. Uh, all you have to do is apply to join. Speak for yourself. Mac to, well, I mean, we're, anyone is welcome. They don't even have to be Mac users. You know, just don't be a jerk. That's all we have. Don't be a jerk. Join the Mac to the Future. Mac to the Mac, Well... <laughs> Maybe. The, come join the Mac the Future Facebook group. We would love, love, love to have you. If you'd like to get a hold of me, uh, my email is guy at mymac.com. My Twitter is Mac Pettit or, or Vert Shark. Uh, you can find my other podcast, the My Mac Podcast, of course, and uh, Guy's Daily Drive. I have one that I need to get up and get going. Uh, I haven't it's posted it yet. for three weeks. Uh, I I actually had done one, but the audio in it was so awful. And you knowing me, the audio would have to be really bad. 
for me not to post it. And I, I couldn't post it. So I've got another one I need to quickly edit and get out there. And it will get out there soon. If you would like to help contribute to the things that I do, uh, you can buy me a coffee, a coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can, you can be a regular Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. Uh, you can also do a one-time donation through PayPal, paypal.me forward slash, not yet, hold on, hold on, forward slash <laughs> Mac Parrot. That is going to do it for the evening. Uh, actually, hold on a second. What's this say from, from Leslie? Wanted to know how blind people know where the bathrooms are and that there's braille on the door signs and on doors on rooms and hotels. Now, if you really wanted to screw with people, you would switch those around. So yeah. bathrooms and wow. hotel rooms were, were switched. That would that would cause some chaos. But okay. don't do the it because is, it would be wrong. The, the reality is wrong. if they walk into the room. They walk, if they walked into their own gender bathroom, it really doesn't matter if they're blind or not. So. Yeah, uh, I'll answer that. I'll answer Leslie's other question. It's uh, they are going to sell both. Um, I think I believe yes. the second yeah, gen AirPods and the new ones. Yeah, there's no reason why they wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. don't want to spend the, the no. extra money. You can go with the lower end model. I yeah. now, I don't if think they lower need, the price. That's another story. Them. I don't think I need them yet. I don't leave the house and I have two home pods and. Lots of speakers in my house. So. Until I start leaving the house, I don't really need my these, headphones. No, these, <laughs> these these are, people be, don't want you to leave your house. We want you to stay no, in your house. These might be with me more because I'm, I'm really digging the noise cancellation. I really am. But you know what? How long are you going to be in Vegas? Uh, four days. So you'll be back for next week's show in theory? I will be back. I come back on Monday. Okay. Well, you can let us, you can let us know how they worked on the plane. Uh, you'll get a, uh, a detailed report. Cool. And hello, Derek Ian Two. Toe? Two. Two. Not one, Thank you. But two. But but the second. one but two. two. Thanks for joining us, Derek. All right. And on that note, we, pretend we, we don't go yeah. yet. Don't go yet. We're well, gonna I'm gonna pretend to watch the mass singer. Oh well you can't because it's the World Series tonight. Shall we talk about the World Series? Maybe no, next week. Maybe next week. Yeah. So everyone Thanks again for joining us this, this evening. We will catch you next week on the Mac to the Future livecast. Say goodnight, guys. Goodnight, guys. Okay, that's good, good enough. Night, Bye. Julian.